So this is Death Carries a Big Stick, filmed in January 2005. This is basically my version of um, what I call the White Room film, which is a weird kind of subgenre of brick film that uh, several directors have sort of taken a crack at, just putting a figure in a completely white expanse with sort of no corners and walls or anything like that, and um, sort of one of those arty-farty kind of films, but of course I'm not a particularly arty-farty kind of guy, so I just sort of did something funny in the white expanse instead. Um, this is roughly, well, the, the, the death character in this film is roughly based on death from the books of Terry Pratchett, uh, the Discworld novels, which I've uh, read and enjoyed immensely. If you haven't read them or you don't know about Terry Pratchett, go to a bookstore, check them out. You'll never regret it. They're the funniest um, books you'll ever read, I reckon. But, uh, yeah, the, the character death in this is sort of loosely based off Terry Pratchett's death um, in being that he's very dry, um, dry-witted and uh, sort of sub-serious um, kind of death character who, uh, who's just sort of trudging through a job he doesn't really enjoy very much. Um, the other character in the film doesn't have a name. He's just, uh, he was in the script as Guy. So, uh, Guy's the name, I guess? I'll call him Guy. A guy versus death. Um, also in this film is a little sort of salute to uh, Bill and Ted, um, where uh, where they actually die and go see the Grim Reaper and uh, and sort of play for their lives at a game of chess or whatever it was. But um, yeah, just a, a little bit of fun with the the myths and uh, sort of uh, cliches surrounding the personification of death, basically. So uh, death carries a big stick. said that. And dead? I'm standing right here. What do you mean dead? Belly up. Offed. Passed away. Perished. Snuffed it. Departed the mortar coil. Expired. Killed over. Kicked the bucket. Come to the big pet store in the sky. Living impaired. Fishing up daisies. I know what dead means, smartass. Mostly. What's with this mostly business? Am I dead or not? Well... Ah! Do you have to sneak up on people like that? Um, I guess not, no. But I do enjoy a bit of drama. This job can get a bit... depressing. Holy crap on a stick! You're death! Yes. The Grim Reaper? Yes. So I really am dead? Mostly. Okay, see there's my problem with all this. I'm mostly dead? How can that be? Am I on an operating table somewhere? My doctor's desperately trying to save my life? Are you just hanging around to see if I'm naked or something? Or is this like a Dickens Christmas future kind of experience? Am I a ghost? Do I have unfinished business? No, not really. Well, you didn't finish your hamburger, but that doesn't really count in these matters. Then what? This is kind of embarrassing. What? A monkey stole the sign. I kind of needed to sever your lifeline. That's the chain. It's what's linking your soul to your body. I need my scythe to sever it, so you can move on to the next realm. But a monkey stole it. Yes. So what do we do? I take it I just can't stay here like this. No. If I don't sever the lifeline, you'll wind up being a zombie, wandering the world in your rotting corpse, forever stuck between life and death. That doesn't sound pleasant. It's not. So what then? There is one option. It's an old loophole. You can challenge me to a game. If you win, I can restore you to life. At the very instant you were killed, it'll be like you never died. Wow. So the old story about challenging the Grim Reaper to a game of chess to beat death is true. Sweet. No! Not chess. I hate that game. 
It takes so long, and it's so very boring. Okay. What then? Checkers? Poker? A Quake 3 deathmatch? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors? Yes. It's quick, the rules are easy, and it's fair for everyone. Fair enough. Let's go. Rock. Rock. It's a draw. Let's do it again. Rock. 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 This could take a while. Hey, it's not my fault our hands aren't articulated. You pick the game. Rock. Rock. That monkey is going to pay. Rock again. Rock. Rock.